what happens is so this is variable timing on the intake cam variable timing this is the exhaust cam exhaust cam no, has... sorry yeah but it has it on both inlet and exhaust cams are variable okay so... and that means you can advance or retard when the Valves open. Valves open and close, but it's the same cam profile. Same profile, Just, same duration, same yeah. lift and everything. It's not like a Honda VTEC. Yeah. It doesn't alter the cam profile. It only changes the valve timing. When that actually starts to take an effect. Yeah, so... The profile. At any rev range, I'm not sure exactly what rev range they do it at, but they can do it at any rev range. Yeah. What they do is, it's all done by oil. Mm. So the outer cam gear, right, is your, where your chain goes, obviously. So it's your chain, that. chain's attached to the outer cam gear, yeah, which is yeah. attached to the crankshaft. Mm -hmm. The center part here is fixed to the cam, and these are the this is the amount of degrees it varies. That far. That far. That far. That seems massive. Yep, that's how far it varies it. What? So, it's, and at any rev range, it can do that. It can vary the position that, with the time of the opening of the valves. In the end exhaust, can be I varied wonder that what much. That, that far. Distance is in terms of time because you're moving so fast. So yeah, so many degrees. It's actually yeah. quite a number of degrees. It's like thirty or forty degrees of val uh, valve timing. Um, I'm not sure exactly what it is. You'd be able to read it up and find out. But uh, okay. that's basically how far it is. If you measure that, you can see how many degrees it can vary. Yeah, I thought it was getting a couple of degrees. No, it's, it's... massive. Okay, and it's done through oil pressure. Oil pressure. Yep. Done through oil pressure. So you have all pressure on one side and the all pressure gets dumped off mm -hmm. by this. Yep. Uh, is that mechanical it or is it electronic controlled? Uh, no, it's electronic. Yeah. So there is a cam position sensor mm -hmm. on the side of the timing case. Yeah. And then there is a solenoid on the front, which pushes that piston in and out mm -hmm. and that actually change varies the oil in there so it can pulsate and vary the oil and change the valve timing so there's more pressure on one side yeah what it does push. is if you've got if you've got all pressure on this side yep right and the tension of the chain is in that direction right uh, sorry all pressure on this side and the chain here yes. is pushing it can't squeeze the mm -hmm. oil out of there so as it releases the oil out of there by this, it can actually keep turning. Mm -hmm. So the more oil re it releases out of there, the further it advances. Yes, yeah. So, and then it pumps back up, it does the same again. They just get constantly vary at that much. How often is this happening? Oh, shitload times. So it's exactly. happening over the rev range? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, you can vary it, and, and that's why it's all tunable. With the right computer, mm. right software, you can actually tune this. Uh, yeah, it varies, which is pretty clever. And inlet and exhaust are both variable, fully variable. By the same amount of degrees, by the looks of it? Yeah. yeah. I think so. It's pretty interesting how they actually build it. It's very, very clever. Anyway, that's the variable cam time. Nice.